we're moving our charity operations and 74 rescue farmed animals from our home of 10 years to a new and expansive location. One that our mission can continue to inspire compassion for farmed animals everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness, the view! There we are. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome to Fireside Chat. My name is Derek, and we are here at Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary, located right now in Campbellville, Ontario, Canada. Let me know in the comment feed where you're tuning in from. Let's see if we actually have a signal. Let's see if anybody out in Facebook land is here with us today. Give me a holler. Let me know you're here. Give me a thumbs up, a high five, a heart. Throw them down. Oh, there we go. Hello, Alyssa. My thing is updating now. Hello to Claire. So good to see you. Oh, you did make it for a live. Yes, indeed you did. And we've got Joanne. Hello. Happy Thursday. Hello, Daniel. Good to see you. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. You could have been doing a million things, but you decided to tune in with us here today and help us grow Esther's mission stronger. And let's be honest, when we're gathered with groups of like-minded individuals like yourself, uh, carrying Esther's mission forward is uh, an easy thing to do when you're surrounded by love. And support so thank you very much you all play such a vital role in this mission and I will never stop thanking you so uh, if you get tired of being thanked you've come to the wrong place because uh, I never stop talking about how grateful I am um, there's been a lot there's, there's a lot to be grateful for right now uh, on today's fireside chat agenda we're going to talk about the homeward bound i'll text you when i'm there campaign we're going to do a facilities update we're going to do some resident health care uh, updates maybe 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 we'll just talk about the residents uh, more than an actual health care update uh, and then we'll take some questions from the magic rainbow bag which got packed and i can't find the magic rainbow bag so we're going to have to do it if you have any questions you would like answered please put them in the comment feed below and i'll try to answer some questions there might not be any questions and that's okay as well uh, my gosh so you all know that we started the Fields of Dreams campaign uh, back in the spring, which supported the down payment of the new property. And then we had our Summer Sparkle campaign, which um, helped some, you know, helped with some critical updates at the new property. And now we have Homeward Bound campaign, which is going to help us move the residents to their new home. This is, this is some exciting times today, friends. We, not just today, but uh, a couple days ago, we took down the flag here at Heaps. And I was flooded with emotions while taking it down. Um, and so many memories have been created here. And we're taking it down, and that's because we're moving, as you know. And part of the celebrations of moving from here to there was to take the flag and move it to the new location. So this is its new location. It kind of looks like a pirate flag up there hanging, um, but this is at the new location at the new farm. The flag is flying proud and um, it was, I, I, it was a quite an emotional roller coaster getting the flag put back up there. Kevin and Andrea uh, joined us for the live VIP celebration. That's when we raised the flag and we cut the ribbon on the new farm and officially made it heaps. Um, for those of you that joined us, you got to see the resident transport trailer arrive live. This was Nancy. Oh gosh. 
Nancy arriving at the new farm and in tow all of the other bird residents. And you got to watch it. You got to watch, um, not just with, uh, not with Nancy's group, you got to watch with Pouty and Denver. Um, you got to watch the live resident transport trailer tracker. And you got to watch the Little Heaps logo move along the map from our home here in Campbellville to our new home in Sheffield. And um, a special thank you to everybody that showed up to the VIP live Zoom that we had on Monday where we, re uh, we welcomed the first residents to the new farm. And uh, so thank you to those that were able to join us and make sure that Esther's legacy grows stronger and we're all holding hands and making this happen together. You got to see the new birds be, you got to see the birds arrive at the new farm. You got to see Denver. Denver, we're home, buddy. Step off the trailer. We're home, buddy. Hi, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, yes. Welcome home, big man. Big step. You did it. Good boy. So for those of you that are following Good along boy. at home uh, during this campaign, which is called Homeward Bound, I'll text you when I get there. Uh, I'll text you when I'm there. Sorry, is the name of the, the campaign. And you know that we're trying to raise $50,000. And the tracker right now, we have... Uh, the, on Monday, I was able to report that we raised $11,918.98. Okay, are you all ready to see the new updated tracker? I love the little fairy pig logo uh, carrying the, pulling the resident transport trailer. I think that's so cute. In between Campbellville and Flamborough, we have just until the 27th to raise all of the funds. We're moving the residents from here to there, all 69 of them. Here we go. It's not too late to sponsor a ride and add to this total, but the total for today, here it is. Drum roll. The total is $17,000. $308.94. Bravo! Wow, that's an awesome jump forward. $17,308. Thank you so much to anybody that's contributed. No dollar amount is too small. And uh, we treasure every single donation. Um, it goes towards healthcare, medical and of course shelter for all of the residents. It's not too late to sponsor a ride. You can help us push that tracker along and you can go to happilyeverester.ca backslash homeward bound and you can get your name on the resident transport trailer. Uh, these are the names that sponsored today's resident rides and uh, for those of you that were following along with today's resident rides, uh, you got to see, well, let me just, uh, if you want to be involved, uh, and we hope that you do, and we hope that you want to get your name on a heart just like this, here is a quick commercial clip. I'll text you when I'm there. It's a super fun campaign where we're going to send you live in the moment texts about the move. And then we're going to send you live updates as we go along. You'll receive in the moment live text photos and videos. You're going to get your name on the resident transport trailer, which is right here beside me, which is backing up tomorrow morning to the barn. And we're going to take our next resident family group and that is Obama's family let's see if I can find oh yeah there there's his boarding pass so this is for Obama's family they're all getting a first class boarding pass and a first class express trip all the way to Sheffield to new home 
if you'd like to sponsor their first class ride, there's still time to get in on the action. We would love, love, love to be sending you these texts and the progress as we go along. If you joined us for today's trip for Diablo's family, they are now, uh, here's, here's Diablo's family's luggage. Uh, they got cedar branches and hay and, of course, a suitcase full of Fig Newtons. And Diablo and George rode together. And also Gloria and uh, Angelo rode together. So they all rode together in the same chariot. And uh, they had some fun stops along the way. Kevin, of course, was helping load up in the morning. And uh, we had some fun stops along the way. Uh, we stopped at the Great Wall of China. We stopped in Niagara Falls, of course, for a photo op, and then New York. And uh, so if you received some updates today, you got to see another place that we visited. We visited a marshmallow farm. Diablo had never seen a marshmallow farm before, and you got a very special photo of Diablo at the marshmallow farm. We had a lot of fun on today's transport, and we hope that you'll join us for the next ride. The next departure is happening. You can tell by our schedule here of what's happening. You can see that we're having the last call on Obama's family, and we need you to sponsor him now. Uh, Obama's family, so that's the rest of the goats and the sheep are moving tomorrow. And you can see above Obama there that we have um, a Diablo's family, which has arrived. Enrique and Claudia's trip has been delayed due to some infrastructure at the farm. We want to make sure that they are as safe as can be. And we have a plan uh, in place, but it's not yet built. Uh, so we need to just delay that a tiny bit. And then uh, you can see all of the other resident groups that have arrived at the new place. Pouty Denver, the Duck Coop, Corno's Cottage, and Dolly's House. We still have the gates open on BJ and Escalade, last call on Obama's group, and then we have Sammy's family, Malcolm's family, and April's family that will all need sponsorship. So, yeah, there's so much happening. Um, so thank you again to anybody that has sponsored a trip up to this point and has helped us pack our bags. Here is our big man, Diablo, at the new farm. You can see how taut that rope is. He has stopped at the door. And he, he was not sure. He was not going in just yet. So, yeah, he was just waiting to come in. And we gave him all the time that he needed. And eventually he walked right on into his new stall. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been an emotional day. And we're so, we're so, so, so <sighs> overjoyed, emotional, <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're in celebratory mode. There's a real spirit lift here on the farm and there's a real skip in everybody's step and getting a chance to move the farm, move Esther's legacy and really, really, really level up here in an incredible way. And it's all thanks to you. So if you'd like to join on some more of the journey that we have going on, the different resident groups, please, please, please head on over to happilyeveresser.ca and you can help Esther's legacy grow stronger, sponsor a resident group. You can, there's some other naming opportunities if you haven't checked it out. I feel like I'm talking a lot here. We have picnic tables naming, we have brick naming, and we have uh, also... Uh, moving the hex logo behind me on the farm the last thing that is going to move is this hex logo that's up here on the barn and that is going to be moved with april's group and then put on the new barn at the new location and if you'd like to sponsor the move of even that hex logo uh, please head on over to the website because we need all the help the love and support there's naming opportunities you could get your name on a brick around our big fire pit there at the new farm you could become a fairy hog mother sponsor there's there's a lot of really great opportunities to get involved and we really need your support because being at seventeen thousand three hundred eight dollars that's about that's about 35% of the way, and that's that's an amazing. I'm I'm overjoyed and so pleased at 
uh, the excitement surrounding the final move of this campaign. So there's still time to get involved. Head on over, happilyeverestored.ca. Track the resident transport trailer live. You can see some comments here in the comment feed of people that have done it, and we're having a fun time uh, with that resident transport uh, tracker live. You get to see it on the map, tick along in real time. So please sponsor a resident. We would love, love, love your support. Okay. Uh, oh, facilities update. Oh, look, it's it's hay season. Second cut hay. Second cut hay. Second cut hay season. We're, we have enough space at the new property. The new property is 120 acres. And we get some of the hay, which is amazing. Uh, here at this property, there is about nine acres of pasture. At the new property, there is 80 acres of new pasture buildings have been moving this week there was a huge crane on site that picked up a whole bunch of the buildings and put them on flatbeds here is one of them leaving we're able to use these buildings at the new place these are going to become chicken coops it's uh we're going to try whoops there we go. Uh, so many updates. Like It seems like if you think that something's supposed to be here, it's not here. And there are residents where there shouldn't be residents. And everything is super confusing. And we're doing our absolute best to keep everybody informed about how the move is going. Uh, hello, Jerry Lee. So good to see you. Oh, the pumpkin stop. Yeah, the pumpkin stop along the way was uh, super cute. And we got to spread the mission to this pumpkin farmer here on the corner. Pouty's in the trailer behind us there. And Pouty wanted to stop. He said he had to pee. And then, of course, he said he wanted to get pumpkins for the birds. But we all know that he just wanted a pumpkin for himself. So when he arrived at the new farm, they got pumpkins. And uh, it was special moments for sure. Departures happening tomorrow. You, there's still time to sponsor Obama's family. Last call to sponsor Obama's family. My gosh, um, our hearts are full. Our minds are certainly busy. Uh, we hope that we got all our ducks in a row. We're moving 69 residents from here to there, and we've moved a whole whack of them already, as you know. All right, let's take some questions from the Magic Rainbow Bag. Let's see if there are any questions. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, here's a good question. Uh, did you bow out any, tr oh, blow out any trailer tires moving Denver? Uh, no, we didn't blow any tires, but um, he, he's certainly a big boy. I've never towed uh, Denver before. It was always Kevin or um, M that had towed Denver to OVC. And uh, so I had the privilege this time of moving Denver and Powdy. And yeah, uh, that we definitely had to put it in for low when we arrived at the farm because there's quite a hill that brings us up to the very top of the farm at the very end. And we needed that extra power to get that uh, trailer to the top. So great question, Danny. Um, let's see. When is the final date that will be totally moved off this farm? Well, the, we're gonna be finished here by the end of October. So, good question. We have, uh, keep scrolling. Oh, good question. Is OVC closer to Heath's new home? It's not closer, um, it's a bit further. But actually, since it's closer to a highway where you can go 100 kilometers an hour versus back roads from here, which you have to go around 60 kilometers an hour, it ends up being the same amount of time to get there. So although that it is further, um, it's about the same amount of time to get there. So great question. Yes, thank you to everybody that has donated. That's Flippin' amazing. You can join Obama's family on their trip to their new home. That's happening tomorrow. There's still time. Y Oops, we already did that one. I bet the cats will be very nervous. Yes, I think you're right about that. We'll be giving them, there is this um, 
tincture that you can put in their water and it's called rescue remedy and the rescue remedy uh, calms them down it's a mixture of bock flowers and you can buy it for dogs and cats and you can also buy it for humans you can get these lozengers and uh, it helps with anxiety and it helps uh, just helps calm the nervous system and that's just what we'll need through all of this tomorrow billy jet airline gonna load up obama's family we're doing it okay let's see if we got more questions Oh yeah, BJ and Escalade, they're moving on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Pending any delays, of course. Sometimes we have unforeseen circumstances that could come up. Uh, weather, uh, illness of staff, maybe something's not ready at the new farm. So uh, we're aiming for Sunday, that's the target. Uh, thank you so much, Nana. It's so good to see you here. Love you, Nana. Deb Merrick, Karen, Karen Zimmer, so good to see you. Uh, how far are you moving away? So it's about 20 kilometers west of here. And uh, you have to cross over Highway 6, and it's pretty close to Cambridge. And, yep, so it's not, not too far. Thank you so much, Claire. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where did the name Billy Jet Airline come from? I mean, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll have to check the website on that one. <laughs> All right, friends. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. We still have a ways to go on this campaign. We hope that you'll want to sponsor Obama's family, BJ and Escalade's family, Sammy's family, Malcolm's family, April's family. You can get various levels of service, and as well, you can also get cameos an individualized cameo which uh, we've been blazing through the cameos and getting those out the next cameos heading out are from today's move um, pouty and denver's cameos those have gone out those went out a couple days ago and diablo's family those cameos will be going out in the next couple of hours so uh, let's see where we're at again we'll remind you before i head off seventeen thousand three hundred and eight dollars and 94 cents we need to raise $50,000 in order to get all of our improvements and make sure that we are ready for all of the residents to arrive at the new farm it takes a community of individuals just like you showing up each week to these lives commenting on our social media pages and this is Callie, she says hello, commenting on our social media pages and giving, you know, giving us thumbs up and giving us heart emoticons. It is all, it's all food for our soul. And I, uh, <laughs> as, as Callie is trying to take me down here, I think I better end today's fireside chat. My name's Derek. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow with Obama's sponsorship. Goodbye, everyone. All we need is a place to be and a few good friends for some company. If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave. We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked. If you drop on by, you don't have to knock. We're happy to share whatever we've got.